Hi besties, so welcome back to the vlog. This is the second moving vlog, so move-in day, unpacking everything. That's the shtick for today. If you haven't seen the first moving vlog, I'll put it up on the screen so you can get caught up, so you can know why I moved, where I moved, the whole sitch. Let's journey back and start with moving day. I love this apartment so much, and I did film a little empty apartment tour before the movers got here. Sar, roll the clips, bags. Okay, so before the movers get here, I just wanna do a quick empty apartment tour. If you guys have been following me, I've had this layout before, but this is on a higher floor. So the lighting is so bomb. The kitchen, the living room, balcony. And then I love how it does this. So if you go into this one, this is the master bedroom. It's gonna be my bedroom. Love the bathroom, per. Yeah, the only like downside is I don't have a walk-in anymore. That is the closet. I love having a mirror in the bedroom. It is just, you know, a vibe. And then over here, washer dryer and my little nest. And then the guest bathroom. This is probably where I'm gonna put Sybil stuff because Katie Litter is nasty. And then this is the office. It's so bright. I love it. I don't really know how I'm gonna decorate it. I honestly have no idea. I haven't really decorated my office ever. So if you guys wanna give me ideas or send inspo pics, whatever, let me know. I saw the empty apartment tour. I moved. It's Friday night. Um, the attire. It's Friday night and I got bailed on. <laughs> Her. I hate men, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna take this as a time to organize the apartment, unpack it, because I really haven't unpacked anything and uh, living in boxes is not a vibe. I don't like how I look, but I don't care. I am just trying to be more unhinged if you will the hinge will be und anyway 2021 was horrific um mm. but this year 2022 she's going hard and she is that girl she's a material girl i have a water bottle because <sighs> my filtered water i can't find the i cannot find my my water filter because the last apartment had one in the fridge you just just had one in the fridge this i have to bring back the uh, archaic water container that you put the filter in and then ugh, bottled water. Let's just real quick talk about the level of petty, level of toxic that I'm on right now. Um, don't, don't say anything besties because I support women's rights and I support women's wrongs. So you should too. So if you are in a fight with a guy your boyfriend, your situationship, whatever. What you're gonna wanna do is, if you already know he's in a bad mood, clearly, cause you were like fighting or like whatever, you know he's like anxious about something, whatever. If you wanna be super fucking petty, you put your phone on airplane mode, you don't actually block him, but he gets the assumption that he's blocked. He is now under a lot more stress going into whatever he has to do. And then you un airplane mode it later in the night and you're like, oh, my phone died. I don't know, try it out next time. That's what I'm doing right now. Phone's on airplane mode. Uh, Taylor Swift will be on though. If you say one bad thing about this toxic behavior, look, also I used to be a lot more toxic, if you can believe it, but I think the level of toxic comes out with the kind of man. You won't be toxic with a normal man. So just, you know, keep that in mind, but I love the toxicity. I was yours for the taking, guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know, I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know, we would mess me up. Yeah. Now I'm truly awakened. Oh, so you wanna talk again? But it's time I do this my way. I don't wanna be your friend. Think we hit our ex. Lar. Okay. Look, I am once again asking you to ignore the fact that I'm wearing the outfit that I wear every day. Um, that's gonna stop, but I really don't have any clothes. I need to unpack the closet and I have not even started that. So I'm just wearing what I put in a suitcase, which is easy clothes, which is jeans and a black top, slippers and a jacket. Last night, I didn't get a lot done because I had a mental breakdown with unpacking the kitchen because I've actually never unpacked and organized my own kitchen. My mom does that because she's 
the cooking queen, she knows efficiency in the kitchen. I don't. Like, I'm just used to how she does it, and then if I don't like something, I'll reorganize it. But she gives me the baseline foundation, and it always works. I was having a meltdown because I really don't know how to do it. I don't know how to organize a kitchen. Well, you know I'm trying to be less of a perfectionist, and I always forget that when you move, it is impossible to unpack boxes and organize all in the same time. You just need to unpack things and then put them in their respective areas and organize later because if you try to spend the whole time organizing while you're unpacking, it's going to take so long and it's just not easy to live in boxes. So I'm gonna be more chill, more chill girl, and I'm just gonna put my clothes in my dresser, my clothes in my closet, not organized at all, just hang them up, put things in my kitchen where they're going to go but not fully organized. Today is all just about unpacking and putting things where they need to go because I literally don't have underwear because I don't even know where they are. I don't know what box they're in. You guys probably know Emily on TikTok, the chef queen. I don't know how to pronounce her last name so I don't wanna butcher it but she, I love her YouTube channel too, and she recently moved into a new apartment. I don't know if it was that recent, but she did moving vlogs. She had the idea of taking post-it notes, writing on them, and putting them on the cabinets to kind of plan out where things are gonna go because you can see everything clearly. Like, okay, this is where I usually do this, so this goes here. Because if you do it and you end up not liking the spot that you put things in, you have to take it all out mental breakdown. I love Emily. She is just my vibe right now. I'm obsessed with her. I got a rice cooker because of that queen. Found the post-its, besties. This feels right. That feels right, so. That doesn't look right. haven't gotten that much done but i put meal prep up there glass stuff for like measuring cheese board shit will go up there i have one so yeah and then i don't want to look in here i just threw shit in there this is going to be the wellness drawer or pantry down here we got you know yeah this stuff you know good good stuff my rice cooker i'm gonna move and organize these but look at my rice cooker she's so cute and then in here is the coffee system like coffee hot chocolate that shtick that whole shtick is there more appliances they're in my pantry too but her really messy but some of the utensils i'm gonna f like buy something to organize these because that's just so chaotic um and then here's just silverware straws that shtick might shock people, but I haven't had a paper towel holder in years. saying to us that we match thank you okay we got all the bitches in the club today and that doesn't go with every outfit um amazon vibes i will put the link for it down below i'm just a hoe for amazon i'm so sorry we hate jeff bezos like with all of our heart but amazon slaps it does i wish i wasn't that bitch but i have to be <laughs> i'm watching red dead i do it a lot it's fine i just I'm in a cowboy mood. I'm gonna start Yellowstone, obviously. I used to love putting on my records and cooking, the vibes and baking, all of it. 
but I haven't done that in a while. So I'm trying to romanticize life again because that is like my best trait. All of my records, let's go through them. First up, cigarettes after sex, classic. And then we have Etta James. I die for this bitch. If you own a record player, Etta James, you have to. Oh, and also Miles Davis. So we love a jazz moment. And then I have Claudia Villa, which is, or it was my nonna's before she passed away, but this is just Italian background music, if you will. I like to play it when I'm cooking, so love her. And then Lime Cordial, I think this was like their first album. I am obsessed. Then I have another Italian record from my nonna. And then we have Arctic Monkeys. This was like the move in like 2014 Tumblr, that era. Oh, and then we have Nirvana. Love Nirvana, but I will say, not the vibe for a record player. Like when I'm thinking record player, I'm thinking smooth, I'm thinking jazz, I'm thinking cooking, I'm thinking background. Nirvana is like not that. Um, great on a Beats pill, but for a record, it's a little much. Ed Sheeran X or whatever, 10, five, well, I don't know what this album is. But Ed Sheeran's old music was so dummy hard. Like it was the perfect fall music. Go back to this, go back to your roots, King. Now we have the best one and that's Harry Styles. And then the last one that I have is Purple Rain and by Prince. <laughs> that I didn't film an outro for this vlog. Um, as I was editing it, there's no conclusion whatsoever. So this is the outro. The third move in vlog is gonna come out next week. We're gonna organize. We're gonna do all of that stuff. We're gonna just settle in. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hi.